right, made it to Arkansas. We're going to be fishing a different lake tomorrow. I've got a tournament, so you guys will see a video of that today. We're going to go to Beaver Fork Lake in Conway, Arkansas. I'm uh, going to fish that with a buddy of mine, and uh, I don't know. never fished it before. Something to do on Friday, the uh, day before the tournament, and then we'll tournament prep a little bit later this evening. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, I'll see you on the water. Looks uh, pretty what? clear. Yeah, yeah. Not real clear. Working with some good conditions here. Looks like they put some new berm right there, and it all just ran into the water when it rained last night. Yeah, pretty much. This place is, uh, but I think if we get out there on the kayaks, and we can get out to clear water. Is there a lot of stumps and stuff here? What's that? A lot of stumps and things here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really. Saying, I wonder how long this area has been muddy. If this is recent from like rain, or oh. or if this lake stays muddy. Like my yellow kayak, I would have the scupper plugs out, right? And there'd be water a few inches deep, like by my feet. Which would be like, not a problem. And it would help ballast the boat. There's one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right here. Not a bad bass, little guy. Yep. Did you see it swimming? Yeah. I was watching it for a while while we were talking. I got it on mine too. You just pulled that right out of here, right? Yeah, I just drug it right off that. Oh, you drug it off the wall. Okay. Off the rocks. Right. Ouch. It's not a bat. Oh, that's not a bat. That's a. That might be a spawning bass. Something's going on down there. No, that's its butt area. I don't know. You got two fish so far. Let me see what you got set up there. Hold on just a second. Yeah, they are sitting shallow, man. He was right next to the wall when he hit it. I said, I think they're up next to cover. Yeah, because of the, the cloudy water. I bet there's a few more in the stock, too. I'm sure. I bet if we had his Senko on, which is why yours is probably good, because it's the shaky head. That, that should be a fish right there. That should be a guaranteed fish. At least if I threw a jig under there or something. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. My drag's messed up. Oh. That's probably like a two and a half pound bass right there. It's a fat one. Maybe it's three. Small, no, it's 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 pregnant right now. That's what I mean. As I said, there might be a bed right there. That's what I was saying. Where was that? Right by the, the stairs? I threw it under there and then drug it drug it through there. I must have drug it through its bed or something. I mean if you think there's a bed there, it might just be like a bunch of bass staged in there. 
Uh, that'd be the type of area they would want to have a bed at right there. Yeah. Rocky bottom. Probably a few more down along this wall here. Uh, you need a hog trough? Nah. What's your measure? I don't that one. know. That's, that's a good bass. Yeah, it's not bad. See its tail? Oh, yeah. Definitely on a bed. Why do you say that? See the, the, the sore? Yeah. That's from fanning. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Learned something new today. That is, that's a nice looking fish. It's got a cool little birthmark right there. I call those birthmarks, like those black spots. Yeah. This is definitely a female full of eggs. Yeah. Get her back in the water. There she, there she goes. You see that? He came into my boat, flew off, like went underneath my chair. Oh, nice. That's number four? Yeah. They're, uh, you should come over here with your spinner bait. They're chasing bait up into this right here. That's a large mouth. Dude, I got a problem. I just dropped my phone in the water. Yeah. Totally. I might need a little bit of support with this one. Hey, it's good though. It's hard bottom, right? It is. It's, well, it's uh, kind of muddy. I don't know. We'll right. Kayak bass fishing fanatic here. Don't drop your phone in the water like I just did and had to go swimming for it. But thankfully, my partner was here to help me out. So <laughs> here we are. I got my phone back and I'm taking the case off. And hopefully it'll dry out. <laughs> your camera was on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. On. Don't do this. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Not really. As I was uh, swimming it back, he just came and grabbed it. Kind of a little dink here, but uh, cool. Six.